Close to a thousand people in the Hill City responded to a survey to express their issues with Lynchburg's bus service. And now city leaders want to improve things for riders. 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant joins us live at the Kemper Street Transfer Station. So Magdala, what changes are being proposed? Well, John, in the future, the Greater Lynchburg Transit Company wants to have its buses operate on a linear path rather than this circle route it's currently going. Some of the people who took their survey were college students and community members who ride the bus. But before the city rolls out this new bus schedule this fall, they want to hear from the 3,000 people who use its services every day. Danny Patillo and Janet Johnson ride one of the most frequently used bus routes in the city of Lynchburg. I think they should have at least one to two buses on each line going in, in each direction. Right now, the buses are driving in one direction every hour. Many riders have said via survey that needs to change. And this is why the Greater Lynchburg Transit Company is proposing changes to all 14 bus routes this year. Um, we're looking at making changes so that um, the routes um, are aligned better. They provide better coverage to the city and um, it reduces the travel time that an individual would would you be on the bus. But before changes can happen, the city wants to hear from its customers. We asked Patillo and Johnson what changes they want to see. I feel as though the buses should run every day, Monday through Sunday, and that will help the people out more. Because not only people do they go to work, but they have to get to church, they have to get to food banks, they have to get to stores. I was a little bit way down the road and I wasn't near a bus stop, and he just kept right on going. Yeah. So, you know, maybe some way of you know, maybe the buses, if they're supposed to be at a certain stop at a certain time and they're early, maybe stop just for a few minutes at that bus stop. City officials say there will be some minor and significant changes to certain stops, such as Wards Road and the Timberlake area. There are going to be a lot of changes, um, so we want to make sure that everyone has a chance to see them ahead of time, ask their questions, um, so that when we do roll the changes out, they, they understand what's going on. GLTC is currently in the process of finalizing its dates for their public meetings in July and August. They want to hear from people. Stay with 10 News online and on Facebook as we have plans to share those dates with you. Live in Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.